Hi everyone! So today it's Monday and if you know me, I don't like Mondays at all. But today was pretty, um, pretty productive. I woke up, I actually woke up around 7, fell back asleep. I woke up at 8, fell back to sleep. <laughs> woke up at 9, fell back to sleep and then when it was like 9.50, I got my butt up and I headed toward the treadmill today so I ran for like I think 45 minutes and you know what I feel great and my skin has been you know treating me real good um yeah I haven't vlogged in a while and I'm gonna have a hectic crazy week ahead of me I start school tomorrow and yeah I'm not really sad about going to school, I'm just like, whatever. I'm just kidding. I'm excited to see my friends. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to KCON this week, the week that I start school, which is crazy, I know. But I'm really excited. I've never been to KCON. If you've been to KCON, lucky you, this is my first time. And I'm going with one of my amazing friends, Salma. And I haven't seen her since like, months. It's been months. It's, it's overdue that I've hung out with her in a while. So yeah. Hi guys! So today was crazy. I went to KCON with my friend Salma. So I we did go and honestly it was so much fun. I've never ever been to KCON and I recently got into Korean dramas and Korean music like my fourth year of high school and I've never even know what the heck KCON was but honestly it was so much fun this is the wristband that we get from KCON KCON all right and I love it because it's the color yellow and then we got like this other wristband and it's from a makeup company called um and it's free <laughs> so I got a lot of stuff today but uh wanted to tell you guys how our day went so basically we we went to KCON around I want to say 9 a.m. and we didn't check in until like 11 because the line was ridiculously long and the convention wasn't even open yet so there was no point of going early and falling in the line in like 80 degree weather it was too hot so we got Starbucks first and then went to the convention and had so much fun and then we went to Melrose and we took really cute photos we went to all the stores and then we got tired so then we went to Burbank and we went to a makeup store called Morphe Cosmetics and then we ate at Portos and it's a Cuban bakery in LA that's very popular and then we ended up in Hollywood honestly we were supposed to go to Universal, but we got on the wrong bus, and it wasn't my fault. It was Selma's fault, but I keep saying it's our fault, but it's her fault. Just saying, and she's gonna come at me when she sees me again. But anyway, and we ended up in Hollywood, walking around, and kind of scary to be honest. But it was so much fun. So let's get on to my home. <laughs> so from the first place I went to, it's called, it's a really cute bag. It's called My Beauty Diary, Prettier by Day. And I was so excited when I saw this. So, oops, I hit myself in the nose. I believe, yeah. Honestly, all I bought was this. It goes like so. Ding! Okay, I'm gonna keep it on. So cute. 
So this was $3, but you can get two for five. So I bought two and I gave one to my friend Salma. I got a red one and then of course I got the yellow because I like yellow. And then next I went to Face Shop. So my favorite foundation is from the Face Shop and it's like their cushion foundation. And I feel like the shade that I had was too dark and they had a shade lighter. And I just bought the refill of it. I think I did a video of this. I reviewed the face shop cushion. Um, I'll link it down below if I did. I'm gonna double check, of course. I went to a cosmetic store called Innisfree, and basically what they had was these really cool um, intensive serum green tea seed hydrate. Like this. So basically it's a serum and the lady told me this girl from Girls Day uses it and Wan Ho uses it. So that's cool. And I got a face mask. This is a Dear Green Tea face mask with lavender and witch hazel. So I love face masks. Okay. And then another thing that I got is a Dear Orange Jam Scrub and I love scrubs and I love using them especially on my hands. I'm gonna smell this. Oh, it smells so good. This is great because I'm gonna go to Hawaii this week and this is great for travel. And then next, okay, I've been wanting this wine lipstick from La Biote, La Biote, I don't know how to say it, okay? But I'm gonna insert a photo right here this is what it looks like and I've been wanting one and I didn't know they gave me a mini sample of it so cute and the color is um, R01 and this is an orange shade and it's so so pretty girl look at that pigment like I don't know about you but yes Oh my gosh, Ooh. so pretty. Puts it on right now, literally me. <laughs> it's not showing, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I've been wanting this and it's so cool. I'm gonna take this everywhere with me now. I'm gonna buy the full size one if I really, really like it on me. And then next. These are my favorite products that I got today. These two. These two! So there was a poster where it says like our Facebook and you know do whatever the heck you need to do to get all these free items. And I was like, oh, that's easy. Okay, I'll do it. And there was like a photo of these mermaid brushes and I thought it was just part of the low, the, the poster. They were not kidding. Literally, they were not kidding. And I'm excited to use this. Whoa. 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 It's so soft. Oh my gosh. Whoa. So I'm really excited to use this. So yeah. Cool. And then there was the last booth that we went to before we left. And this booth is called A Concept. And they have lipsticks and then they have cheek products. Literally, packaging is everything. So cute and matte. So basically, you have to do something for them because they I don't think they were selling products. And they wanted they will let you get free products. You get a lipstick or a blush. Doesn't really matter. So you just have to take a photo with the product. Um, like, no, like, I think you have to follow their Instagram page, tag their name, which is a concept, and then hashtag the color name called Kiss Me, and then hashtag a concept, and of course, tag them again on Instagram and follow them and stuff, and you get this for free. So, this basically looks like a nail polish. And it even says it here, this is not a nail polish, this is a cheek product. 
So you have to shake it because it's a water-based blush. And basically all it is is a blush. They ran out of the they ran out of the shade that I wanted, so it's okay. So look how pigmented this is. And it looks like a eyeshadow. It looks like a nail polish. But when you blend it in, super nice, right? Super nice blush. So pretty, by the way. I really like it. It's very, it smells really good too. So it's very natural looking now. See? It's not as bright as it is in the packaging. So I really like this. And I might want to buy some more of this now because it's really cool. So yeah. And then the last product that I got from the convention that I want to show you guys is it wouldn't be a a KCON convention if I didn't buy one of my favorite KCON groups. Not KCON groups, K pop groups. And it's this poster. They sell so much stuff. Like, even if your favorite um, group or bias isn't performing, they're gonna sell their products. Which I thought was pretty rad. So, I got the poster. And I don't know if I've shared this. My favorite K pop um, groups are Blackpink, Red Velvet, and EXID. And then for guys, it's BTS. Um. XO and my third one is Astro. Oh wait, just kidding. Fourth one and is 17 as well. So I got this really big poster. So this is red velvet. <laughs> and they're my favorite. And my favorite one is here. Oh, her name is Joy. She's so pretty. Serving looks with her red hair. Oh, such a queen. Such a goddess. Okay. Serving me looks. Yes. And this poster was only five bucks. And all day I had to carry this around everywhere we went. And it was crazy. Oh, good day today. It's a really good day. And then what else did we do? Oh yeah. We got like free fans and stuff. Oh, and if you're wondering if you've never been to KCON, go. You don't need to speak Korean. You don't need to know anything about Koreans or anything. You just go there for the fun and experience. But it's great if you like a group and if you like K-pop songs. It's great. It's fun. And it's really, really safe, by the way. It's really safe to go. A lot of kids, um went there by themselves they don't have their parents with them and everything's safe everything is so calm like i love the environment there was like no creepy people at the event everybody was so friendly and nice so it's really cool and then last place i went to go shopping today was morphe it wouldn't be an la trip if i didn't go to morphe funny story is i always go to morphe with salma our last time that we went to a um, meet and greet with Adeline and Mia, we went to Morphe. Okay, we just went to Morphe. <laughs> I actually really controlled myself when I went there because I honestly don't really needed anything. But I got some stuff, of course. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. As you can see, what time is it? It's basically almost 1 a.m. in the morning oh and if you guys haven't wondered i got a new phone Ooh. and my screensaver of course oh wait anyway moving on what i got from morphe so i got this brush and it's for your eyebrows so basically it's an angled brush and it's spoolie and this is the R44 and I have one before but I lost the spoolie part so and Salma got the same one as me and then we both bought eyeshadow palettes so basically all these and a palette this fits six 
so really rad by the way and I'm gonna show, tell you guys what the shades are in like a second so this is my palette so basically I got a palette that will match my mood and I know fall is coming up and my friend Salma she made a fall palette with like these warm pretty tones but me I'm Angelique and I don't really like following by the book I like something that I like to wear every day and you know have fun with and I picked these specific colors because they match my skin tone all year round and yeah so I'm gonna show you guys this is the palette and I got I got four shades so let me just you know put it together so these are the shades that I got super super pretty by the way I love these colors I bought four so these are my wearable colors that I would wear all the time and these two sh these two three shades except the yellow I have these similar shades from like my other palettes but I want to take this palette to go since I'm always in a rush I'm always in a hurry and my voice is deteriorating my voice is like slowly like lowering down by itself right now so I got these shades so the first shade is I want to say it is Okay. The first two shades on the top here. This is Brick and then this is Fiesta. Brick is number E S65 and Fiesta is E666. E sorry, E S so it's like right next to each other and then the last two shades are right here this is this is flame and then this is sunflower flame is number es 30 and sunflower is es 32 so pretty right yes and i'm gonna buy two more in the future in the future they have really huge palettes, but I honestly didn't really feel like buying a huge palette. I'm not going to fill it up or anything, so I'm pretty excited to be using this. But yeah, so that was my experience at KCON, and I'm super excited. I'm going to go next year again, and I'm probably going to go with Salma or whoever my friends, whoever wants to go with me, technically. But um, yeah, so much fun. And I just wanted to tell you guys all about it. And yeah.